Hey everybody, how's it going? First off, I want to say I'm sorry about the sunglasses. It is very bright out here, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it today. <laughs> but today I'm getting started back on the build. There's a few things that I want to get accomplished this week. Hopefully I have enough time to get everything done. The main thing that I want to get done is this cabinet back here. If you'll remember whenever I built that cabinet and put it up, I decided that I wanted to make a few adjustments to it and shorten it up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna work on first and get that taken care of. So I got the cabinet cut down. I cut it down about three inches, so it's about 12 inches tall now. I think this will be a lot better. And I got a fresh coat of paint on it. So I'm just letting that, this is the second coat of paint, so I'm just letting that dry. And then I'll put everything together and get it put back in my van. I'm not gonna lie, cutting this cabinet down was a pain. I had to take everything apart on the cabinet in order to get everything cut down and I was putting it back together. I must have put this thing back together three or four times and I don't know how but I just kept doing it backwards to where it wasn't going to fit right in my van. <laughs> oh this was a pain and not only this but I tried to fix the cabinet doors on the ones above my sink and I didn't film that part, but I made them worse. This is driving me crazy. I'm going to go ahead and put this cabinet up in the van. Um, I'm not going to build doors for it yet because I think I may try to redo these cabinets. I, I don't know. Let me get this one up in the van and see what I think of it. I'm definitely gonna have to redo the doors. I'll show you in just a second what I did. But I think it's safe to say I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for these cabinets to be done though. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'll show you these cabinet doors. <laughs> okay, so ignore this part. Basically what I did was, and it looks the exact same. See this, how they're not even right here? This used to be the bottom of the door, and I cut a strip off of it up here. And you can tell that I did not do a very straight job there. But I thought that this was going to make it look a little bit better. And I've got holes up here to where I tried to level everything out. And it's just not working out, unfortunately. So I'm definitely gonna have to redo the door, this door anyway, this door looks fine. As long as you don't look at this door, I'm happy with this, how this door looks. I need to, I've got some fingerprints on it, I need to clean up, but other than that, this door looks good. I'm just gonna have to redo this one. But I don't know for sure, I'm tempted just to redo the entire cabinets to make them look 
a whole lot better because if they don't look good, that's gonna drive me crazy and I don't want that. But however, I am gonna put the cabinet that I cut down, I am gonna put that back up in the van and just look at it for a couple of days and see what I think. The last thing I wanna do is make a decision based on that one cabinet door. I just, I don't know. I'll get it up in the van and live with it for a couple of days and then make my decision. All right, it's the next day and the cabinet is ready to go back up in the van. However, a couple of videos ago, I went back through all of my video clips and I mentioned that I've had my van for a year and I completely forgot one very important thing that I need to do every single year and that's renew my tag. I just realized that I've been driving around with an expired tag. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get that taken care of real quick and then I'm gonna come back home and get the cabinet put back in my van. Next week, I am hoping to have my solar panels attached permanently to my roof so I don't have to keep taking them down every time I want to drive somewhere. <laughs> Last thing I want is for this video to be negative, but I also want to be truthful. This has got to be the most difficult thing I have had to do on this van build so far. I honestly cannot believe that this, the frame of this cabinet is even staying up there at this point. I need to think more on this. I'm. I'm more than likely going to have to redo these cabinets. I may not have to redo this one up here. Um, I think I can just redo the doors and this one be fine. But this one I have... I've, I've jacked it up pretty bad. <laughs> and with me driving... I don't think... I think one good bump and it's going to fall apart. So... I just need to be truthful with myself and realize that I'm probably going to need a little bit of help with the cabinets. Um, I think my brother and my dad are off this weekend, so I may have, I may ask if they can come out here and help me with this. It, I feel like it would be a lot easier with more than one person, but with me by myself trying to hold the thing up and put everything together. It's not lining up the way I want it to. It's not straight. And I, I, I just need to take a break. <laughs> I need to take a break from it for a little bit. So I've got one more thing that I need to do. So I'm going to hold off on that. The bottom is not even in the cabinet right now. So I'm just going to... I'm probably just going to take this down tonight. And deal with it another time. Whenever I can think on it a little bit and possibly get some help on it. So I have one more thing that I need to do. I've got this area down here. I'm gonna be putting a drawer right here, but I, there's no wall inside the cabinet. <clears throat> I've got the wall up underneath my bed. It's cut the size I need it to be. It is painted. I just need to put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
because I'm planning on building the drawer next week. And if I can just get that wall in there, that's one less thing I have to do next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in since I have a little bit of time here. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh. Now if I can get up from here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me get you a little closer. Okay, so cabinets didn't quite work out this week. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, yes, they frustrated me, but I'm not gonna let it get to me too bad because it's a learning process and obviously I've got a lot to learn with building cabinets. I'm not too worried about it. I'll get them eventually. I'll get some help and I'll get the cabinets taken care of <laughs> eventually. It's just, I'm ready for them to be done now and I'm being a little impatient with them. So I guess that's something I need to work on. So I guess that's where I'm gonna end it this week. This video didn't quite turn out how I was hoping it would. However, I'm going to post it anyway, because I have no desire to lie to you all. I want to show, I've, I've said this multiple, multiple times, I want to show the good things as well as the bad, and this was a bad, for sure. This is probably one of the hardest days of the build I've experienced yet. And a couple of videos ago, I had such a success with my electrical system. I was so happy with it. I was happy with the test that I ran on it. Everything's been working perfectly with my electrical system. And then I come out here to work on my cabinets and it's one fail right after another. <laughs> I got the cabinets pulled apart, cut down, that was fine. But then putting them back together was a pain. And then putting it back in my van is a pain. So I'm just gonna pull it out Wait until I can get a little bit of help and try again. So bear with me, it's coming along. Actually, in my next video, I have made out a list. I know I've said this a couple of times too, that I need to make a list so I can stay on track. I have made that list. So next week, I'm just gonna work from the top of that list and work my way down and see how much of it I can get done. I'm very excited for next week's video because I've got quite a few things that I've been wanting to get done and just haven't yet. So. Even though this week didn't turn out as the way I was hoping, next week I have a feeling is going to be a lot smoother, <laughs> hopefully. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all of your all's support in the comments as well. It really means a lot to me whenever you take the time to comment and let me know what you think of the videos, so thank you so much. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you next Thursday.